For all those wondering, I reached out to Subaru because um, I know the Axis port is coming out soon. So I see the Axis port is coming out soon. If I was to tune my 2022 WRX later had turbo engine failure, would that be denied? Scroll up and uh, thank you for contacting Subaru of America. We appreciate your time. Modifications that are not approved by Subaru do not automatically void your warranty unless the modifications are to the ECU. Access port tuning generally involves modification to the computer, so this would void your warranty coverage. Um, so for all of you thinking that, um, you know, thinking about getting an access port, um, you know, he here it is from, you know, the horse's mouth. Think about it um, because, you know, if, if you have something major happen, can you afford it? You know, can you afford you know, five or ten thousand dollar incident, um, even if it's not your fault, because um, turbo failure and whatnot. Um, like I said, and I did this on a. I just said my name was Bill, and I did this on a uh, an email that doesn't have any <laughs> link to me, just to be extra safe. Um, sometimes turbo failure and the other things of that nature just happen to people, regardless of. Um, regardless of if you did anything to the car it could just happen turbos fail naturally um same time same thing with engines sometimes you just get a um sometimes you just get a dud for an engine and it goes out if you look over at the forms for the ascent and the um outback you'll see some of those people had engine failure at 20 30 000 miles they didn't do anything different to their car um and they they just drove it normal. These kind of things happen, and that's the same engine that's used in these cars. Um, so you know, think about it. And you know, for me, I'm uh, personally just going to wait. The car's too new, and um, you know, potentially when my warranty's up, maybe I'll consider um, getting a, a Cobb Access Port and a Pro Tune. But while it's in warranty and I can have things covered for free, I'm just going to stay away from uh, things that are detectable. Um, just because I'm not willing to take that kind of risk. Like I said, and if you are, of course, I'm, I'm happy to see um, your results and the performance enhancements you make um, because we know they'll be um, big. Hopefully, uh, when I'm ready, if I ever am, um, then I'll probably uh, reach out to my buddies over at uh, Purple Drink Tuning and um, get a Pro Tune. But uh, for the first 60,000 miles, um, I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, you know, five years, 60,000, I'm not going to um, get anything done. And to be honest, um, I, I might end up extending that warranty out to 100,000 miles because you can actually get the extended warranty directly from Subaru uh, all the way up until the, um, up until your warranty is uh, about to expire with your current car. So if I hit, you know, 58,000, I choose, I want to extend that out to 100, 120,000. I can just buy that directly from Subaru. I think it's like two thousand dollars for an extra sixty thousand miles, um, and I and I might do that uh, just because I'm I'm very happy with the power I'm making with the um, JB4. But you know, at least here it is. And like I said, if you um, if if you were thinking about it, you know, maybe this uh, makes you second guess it for now, uh, or you know, maybe you don't care. It's uh, completely up to you. I'm just out here providing information.